Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of a Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. First, I'd like to address his shirt. It says, too cute to be naughty. That's I post not true. <laughs> I posted a picture with my Naughty Ray Dunn ornament uh, on Instagram a while back saying too true or something like that. And some people didn't know that I was kidding. I know he can't be naughty. He's a baby, but it's, it's a joke. Okay, so... We had so Merry many Christmas, comments. Merry Christmas, everybody, first of all. Yeah, Merry Christmas. The next time we see you will be after Christmas. Mm -hmm. And Chelsea will be a year older. Wow. <laughs> all right. Um, so we had so many comments and so many things, so many great things people said about us reaching our 10,000 goal <laughs> and then the 10 giveaways um, for the 10 days of Christmas mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, one for every ten, one for every thousand, right? Oh, yes, math. Um, thank you so much. I loved reading all of them. I think there were 1,400 comments by the end of it. Mm -hmm. So we were really excited to go through. And I loved reading what you are thankful for. It's a great thing to take the time to slow down and see what you're grateful for. All right, so without further ado, we have some questions from last week. Uh, Tammy wanted to know, what kind of outlight do you prefer, clip-on or standing? <laughs> A standing, definitely. I'm going to shake the table today. Uh, standing, so we don't have anything to clip our outlight yeah, because onto. Because we don't use a frame or a hoop, so mm -hmm. we need the overhead one. Yep. I used to have the, the tabletop one, and I had a little table next to my... It was so hard to... And it would be sitting on the arm of my chair, especially when I was doing the chalk pieces. And, and the no. standing one is, I mean... Yeah, we needed the... No! Yeah. No! It, it goes above us, so it's all lit up over there. Um, and I found a great deal on Amazon. I believe it was $89.99 for a standing light. There's also ones that have the magnification. They have... Um, and we don't use any magnification. No, we don't use that, but we they just use have that. The one I found for a lady, because I was doing some research, had a clip also to hold your pattern up there. So we use the needle minders, because we don't use them on our projects, um, to keep our chart up on yes. the... A standing outline mm -hmm. because it's metal. Okay. And hopefully we'll do a, a stitch with me video yep. in the next few weeks so that you can see what we do Yes, in our setup. And somebody asked, you know, is the outlight worth it? Like the brand? Absolutely. I think so. I think that they're, I think that there's another one though. Somebody was saying that it's cheaper than the outlight and it's better. So I don't know if you, maybe Google it, yep. but we both have outlights, the same one. Tracy, Priscilla, have you done Prairie School or Little Red Riding Hood or The Three Little Pigs? No, I haven't. And I I uh, have those charts in my stuff that's kitted up and going to stitch maybe next year that I, because I wanted to do like a nursery rhyme theme in his nursery. So maybe something along those lines. Anita did the homework about Plum Street Samplers Freebie. So she did some research for you all. Um on that away in a manger one that mom changed the words to it's called mary sampler and if you go to plum street's blog um on the right side of the blog it go to archives and if you search for september 2013 it gives you the color charts there's two versions on a light fabric and a dark fabric um and then november 2013 is the complete patterns for both versions just so you guys know so plum street's blog uh elizabeth do you finish the backs of your ornaments most of the time, no. <laughs> no. Nobody's looking at them. No. Sometimes, though, you can just get a big piece of felt and slap it on the back or, I mean, wrap mm -hmm. the fabric all the way around. I used to, and then now I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends. I, if it were to be a gift for somebody, I'd yeah, I would finish definitely. the back, but yes. it's for us, and they go on our tree. We position our ornaments where you're not seeing all the way around on most of them. The only tree that you can see all the way around on moms is the one that spins around in the family room mm -hmm. uh, with the pictures of our family mm -hmm. scrapbook ornaments. So those backs are finished. Yes. Um, but, but I wouldn't have even had to do those really. No, it's because they don't show. To me, it's a waste of resources. Again, we're trying to be free, frugal. <laughs> <laughs> waste of resources. Um, okay. I used to always finish, most of my prairie schoolers are finished on the back with a piece of felt. And then I would use puffy paint and put my name or the year or something. If you can so. hear the dogs. <laughs> Over there, slurping over Yeah, we have a big dog in the house. <laughs> Nala. Um, 67 pounds of her. Notes for my needle, the sweater ornament. Is the sweater put on sticky board as well? Yep. Yep. Or you could even take a piece of cardboard and hot glue that because that's a thicker material. You could hot glue it to the back. Right, but cardboard kind of bends over time, oh, so true. I would not do the cardboard. Matte board. I meant matte board. Yeah, cardboard. matte board would be good or that uh, foam core. Yep. Okay, not cardboard. 
don't put in the comments not to use cardboard i know but it, <laughs> it, it it was nice with the sticky board because it was easy to get it flat yes because sweaters are a little bit difficult to get flat karen r i know you've mentioned it before but which uh, punch needle do you use the cameo ultra punch and i saw um so another company had purchased them they were going at a um out and somebody purchased them and then they're going to be for sale uh as the first start of the year the mm -hmm. start. cameo ultra punch is what we use and we have the ones that have the three different size needles yes but you can buy them with just one size right i think but i don't know how and the new ones are going i got mine off of amazon or ebay i'm not sure and where'd you get yours Am amazon but then you bought another one did amazon. you buy another one from needle case goodies no i amazon okay all of mine have come from yes I'm a lazy shopper. <laughs> um, I have the Prime, so I just get free shipping. <laughs> free shipping. I pay 120 bucks a year for free shipping. Um, <laughs> Marina, do Calvin and Ronnie receive yeah. gifts from Santa? All of our animals are on the nice list, so they all receive gifts from Santa every mm -hmm. year. They love opening their presents, too. You just uh, squeak it for them, and then they rip open the paper. So, yes, all of our animals are on the nice list. Calvin, I don't know this year. We're going to see if Santa brings him coal or uh, presents. His dad just walks around the camera <laughs> shaking his head at me. Uh, we've got a full house today, so we, it's embarrassing for me to do this in front of the camera, and then I've got them walking and watching and, and, and the big one in the kitchen is saying, can I eat this? <laughs> yes, it's in the fridge. And where's um, Calvin's food? <laughs> All right, back to food. <laughs> Priscilla. <laughs> Casey, is it possible to tea coffee dye something after it's stitched? So mom's trick, if she <laughs> wanted something tea coffee dyed or, or darker or just whatever, uh, she would take a wet tea bag and blotch it around mm -hmm. the areas that she And needed. I've done it many times. Yeah, but we've never dunked our fabric after it's been stitched like that. It, it, as long as you didn't have any white stitches, I think you would be okay if you wanted it to be aged, but aged. the white is totally going to go away. Yes. And it would probably be the same color as your fabric. Um, what brand of glue gun and paper trimmer do you have? Tonic paper trimmer. Mm -hmm. That glue gun. She got a serious glue gun. Yes. I, I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know what brand it is, but it was like, what, $25? So if you go to Hobby Lobby, find the $25 It's a bigger one, one but it, it's nice. Yeah, it's I, don't, nice I don't use the small ones because it doesn't put enough glue out to be hot enough. And and then you got those little mini glue yeah. sticks. We have the long glue yeah. sticks. We don't have time for those little ones. No. Um, so many of you have Calvin's said... even in the room now, too. <laughs> this is chaotic. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Focus. <laughs> All right. Um, so many of you have made the coffee filter wreaths. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh. <laughs> okay, see, this is what we deal with. Hi, Kevin. Okay, put it down. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Say hi. I'm so terrified. I'm so terrified. I'm so terrified. All right, so, um, so many of you have made us. <laughs> I'm sweating. So many of you have made those coffee filters and uh, you're burning your hands or something like that, but they look phenomenal. Um, so thank you for tagging us in those and so glad that you liked the tutorial. It was quick. It was simple to do. Thank you so much. Yes. And Chelsea did a really good job filming. I can't breathe. I can't breathe in hyperventilating. <laughs> I told you to put them down. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Wooly headed stitcher. Are you looking to, uh, forward to your first Christmas with cash more than anything? I am so excited. It is uh, very difficult to find um, gifts though for a baby like around six months old because I mean he has everything that he needs. So yes, but I am so excited for the traditions and I'm most excited about taking him to church. So when music comes on, he is, that's what he does. And I'm really excited to see how he acts <laughs> in church. <laughs> he got into the eggnog this morning. <laughs> Debbie, did either of you stitch the Country Cottage Needleworks Main Street charts yet? No. And did you stitch them all in one piece? Are you going to stitch them all in one piece? I have them and I... Was I going to stitch them all in one piece or was I going to do... A, a banner. Okay. We have plans to do that, yes. We we need to get on those one a month things where we're mm -hmm. doing 40 pieces one a month. Ooh. Oh my God. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, so that's all the questions that we have this week. This could get really exciting. Yeah. All right, the uh, previous finishes that she has. So this is a Country Cottage Needleworks mm -hmm. Silent Night. Yep. Uh, it was done on, it looks like blue Monaco. Yes, tea dyed. Blue tea dyed Monaco. And then I used a, a 
thrift store sweater for the backing. This frame was 99 cents. It looks like it wasn't painted. You already, this was how you purchased it. Yep. I, I might have roughed it up a little or it might have come that way. Uh, call for colors? Um, that I'm not sure of, but. This one was done a while ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, some ornaments that were previously finished. So this is a hands-on design. This is Glad Tidings, I'm assuming. They, they were the chalkboard ornaments and there's three different designs in each one. And then I have the chalkboard tree in the kitchen. But somebody asked last week that the reason why I brought them okay. was did I use the call for colors? And yes, I did. Okay. And this, what is this? Oh, and the, this back, is, the back of this one is finished. I found that at a thrift store and I thought it was so cute. Yeah, so it was just a little house. I love that little wreath up there. That was already on it. It was only 99 cents. See, we got the tag on it. So why finish your back <laughs> if you could have the tag on it and see how little this you paid for something? Finished? Yeah. So a, a little piece of felt that's put on the back finishes it off nicely with the dog hair attached to it too. Just make sure you get at least a few scraps of dog hair. And how do we know that it's dog hair and not cat hair? Because it's white. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't breathe. <laughs> All right. And then this week's finish, what do you have? This is Mary 3 from Plum Street Samplers. And I found this galvanized piece at Hobby Lobby. And it's got a piece of, there was a piece of plywood on top of it. And I chalkboard painted it. And then I did two different fabric ruffles and then a mat of sticky board with another fabric on top of it so there's three different fabrics for the backing three different layers right here and then the bow and two different kinds of greenery on the top and it's just really pretty all right but it's got a hanger so i can hang it from the peg in the kitchen perfect okay all right show your whips all right, so I have one. Oh, and this was one of my mania starts, so that means I'm up to 15 mania finishes for this year. Awesome. I'm up to two. <laughs> All right, so I'm just kidding. Um, this is, forgive me if I don't have the cover sheet. I hope I do. This is Holly Jolly. Remember, I'm taking out that, like, I'm talking. Uh, 434 <laughs> brown up at the top, I think is what it is, but that's that kind of brown. Um, and making it black and then just darkening the colors a little bit. So that's what I have there. This week was filled with uh, catching up on shopping, cleaning my house. I have um, some relatives that have never seen my house, so I have to make it look like I don't live there. You know, I want it to look like I don't accept cobwebs in the corner or anything like that. So I've been cleaning uh, from top to bottom and then wrapping gifts. And then I am so close to a finish on this, I can't believe it. So I need to find a color for Santa's face. I need to fill in his uh, list, do decide whether I'm putting naughty or nice, and then um, do the back stitching there and finish the red right here. I'm gonna fit, even if it's right after Christmas, this is gonna be done. Okay, I need sticky board. <laughs> I'm gonna do a sell. Oh, yeah, okay, Ziploc and sticky board, we need you to sponsor us. All right, that, that those are all the whips I have. I had some other stuff that you saw on my Instagram that I'm working on as gifts for Christmas, so I can show those after Christmas. Not anything to do with stitching, um, it's with Cricut and vinyl, not cork boards. Okay, so I only have one whip. And whip, whip, watch me nanny. I started it yesterday morning, but I didn't get very much done. But this is, I'm doing the truck from the, the new Chalk on the Farm, Winter Wonderland Farm. But this will go really quick. So these are the charts that she received. So the people that uh, won the giveaways. Yes, yeah, so they already went out. They have been out. Maybe you've received it already, right? No. Just I a couple know, days. I don't soon. remember what day I mailed them. Okay. But they did go out already. Awesome. But this is my collaboration with Hands on Design. I draw the chalkboards and she makes the charts. And this is our third series that we did. So, will there and be then, a fourth? Like I said, you have to stay tuned. Oh, remember my Walmart fabric? See, it's not all the way done. It's all sewn together. But I made one of those string quilts, the quilt as you go. I added white to the Walmart, what are those called, back borders? Yeah. They're just the rolls. So you can usually find them on the end cap, the bottom shelves. They have boxes full and they're 97 cents for a fat quarter. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yep, she loves it more than Swell Christmas, maybe. But those colors are like right up her alley though. Mm -hmm. uh, but adding the white really made those pop because there wasn't a lot of white in the fabrics that right. she Right, and I think it would have been too dark if, if I didn't add the one white piece to each thing. So I, I wanted to get the whole thing done. I just need to put the backing on and do a little bit more quilting in the binding. But 
you know, with everything going on, we couldn't. Cat, dog. <laughs> Cat dog, cat this dog. This is Swell Christmas. I finished it. I did a scrappy binding on it. I did stripes for the inside. Ooh, and I it's love really that one. Pretty too. Calvin loves this one too. Mm -hmm. So these are quilt as you go. We had found a tutorial. And this is what size squares? Nine and a half? Nine and a half. And the other one is six. Six. Or are, are these nine and then it's six and a half? Whatever the, the squares other. come in, uh, the quilting squares. Mm -hmm. And I added white to this one too. I used two jelly rolls and um, white fabric. I still have strings attached. I haven't cut them all off. Um, one thing we purchased, um, I do love them this time around to make these go a little bit easier is, um, a cutting board that rotates. It's like a lazy Susan cutting board. Mm -hmm. Um, I found it at Joann's, but I found a cheaper price on walmart.com. So I was it. able to match that price because it's a brick and mortar store. I'll take them. Um, so Want to give me the bottle? If you want to look for those, it's so much easier to cut the squares and make sure that they're, they line up. Oh, the bottle. All right. What else we got? Let's call Nala over here so she can be on camera. We had some... Oh my God, you're knocking my stuff over with oh, that sorry. massive hair. I didn't get my hair cut. <laughs> we had some gifts this week. Thank you so much for everybody who sent Christmas cards. All right. So Olivia and Elena, I absolutely love this card. So cute. Thank you so much. And then this was from Sally. Sally sent us two cards. Mm -hmm. You know when you're in front of the camera and like nothing works, like my hands don't work, no. my brain doesn't work. Thank you so much. I love Christmas cards. I am sad to say that I did not do a Christmas card this year though. Me either. Mm, Except for the ones that we did for thank you notes. I usually do my own photos and um, I was going to do it. I planned it all out for this one weekend and then the snow all melted because it rained that weekend. So, <laughs> and we haven't had snow since. We got a little dusting last night, but it was more frozen rain than anything. Um, and then Amy sent us a Christmas card. Thank you. Look at the trucks with the tree in the back. She made that. And that I know. Somebody made it. And that ribbon. Yeah, created by Amy. Um, so we have so many uh, card makers that are followers on our, that the have sent us, yeah, that are stitchers. Those go hand in hand, I assume. All right, and then we got some haul this week too. I have some more gifts, but I'm gonna go to haul. Um, is it coop? I don't. Coop in a row? <laughs> um, this is yeah. a beautiful chart. Is that from? Kauri, or is that Tralala? Who is that by? Yeah, Tralala. Um, heart and hand. Look at these ornaments. Yeah, there's a couple I of them. I absolutely love them. Just stitch right away. I love this guy. I love this. The whole ho ho with the presents. And this little sampler looking one. And then Old Saint Nick. Mom saw, saw this. Yes, I saw somebody stitch the one little Santa. Where is he? On Instagram. And I was like, oh, oh my God, God, I have to have that. What chart is that? <laughs> It looks more like a Lizzie Kate than a Perry Schooler to me, but it's so cute. Yes. And that was one I didn't have, so. I have a list of all my Perry Schoolers, so it's kind of easy to go. I put them all in an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, but I'm still using my list. Notebook. Okay. And uh, this. So this, you will be able to um, stay tuned for next week. Um, More giveaways. This is Donna. Donna was in the midst of moving and chaos and life, and she ordered three uh, charts of the of two designs. Um, and she contacted Kathy Barrick and said, I'm going to pass these on, but charge me. And Kathy said, no, pay it forward. So we are so excited to be able to offer um, some giveaways to you guys next mm -hmm. week. So she sent us a um, bowl full of bunnies. And then this is called Dear Santa. I love that one. Uh, so next week, you'll be able to win a Kathy Barrick design as well. Thank you, Donna. And she sent a pretty card. Okay. And then, as promised, Teresa Kogut sent us some charts. Yes. She sent us some charts. First, she sent us a beautiful card. Let me find the card. And it's one of her designs. It's a beautiful card. And she sent us envelopes to mail the charts. She was incredibly generous. Thank you so much, Teresa. Uh, and if you didn't know, she now has a floss tube channel. Right. So she's an artist um, and she has, she's incredibly talented. So if you can go check her out. Absolutely. She has a lot of punch needle and cross stitch designs. Mm -hmm. And she has a lot of new ones coming out that are 
amazing too. So we've got some charts to give away. Mm -hmm. We're not going to give them all away today. We're going to save some. Um, but we've got some amazing charts to give away. Okay. These are the two I'm doing this. Yeah, but just show, show all the charts so okay. that everybody gets to see them. These two are going to be the giveaway this week. One punch needle and one cross stitch. And they're good winter designs so you can get started on winter. This is called Liberty. I'm sorry about the glare. It's it's overcast so today. So mucky looking outside. And I didn't take them out of the... And the material is enclosed in here. So in the punch needle ones, you get the mm -hmm. uh, fabric in the Teresa Is Kobe it printed designs. on the design or I do don't you have to print so. it yourself? You have to draw it. Uh, Honey and Wool Farm. I love that one. This is my black hen. I can't tell you how many times I was sent this one when I uh, when we first started these floss tubes and everyone found out that I had chickens. I absolutely love it. And then this is, is it Top Hat Sheep? Yes. Um, stand Firm. I love that, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare. Santa Knows, I purchased itch. this one at uh, Black Cat. I need to start it. Mm -hmm. This is cute too. Mm -hmm. uh, Prim Spring Rabbit. And then this is Goat. Bloomin' Hens. I love this one. And Ghoul Friends. I love them. They're all in like their dresses. Okay. Thank you so much. We are so excited to give these away. Okay. So stay tuned for that because we'll announce that at the end, right? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let me just reorganize my life here. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just throw them in a file. We'll I know, it. but I need to get the ones that I'm giving away They're today. The right here. Okay. I mean, the video has already been a mess. We just had the cat in there, so we're, we're fine. I hope it uses that as the photo that YouTube chooses as well. Me freaking out about the cat. I still yeah. think you should call Nala over here. Nala. You can come on my side, because I got Ronnie. Nala. And the baby. Come here. Come here, Nala. All right, hold tight. <laughs> Nala, come here. She's so cute. Come here, Nala. Come here. Oh, she can't get through. I left the video. Come oh, here, she's Nala. under the table now. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Nala. Come here. Come here. Okay. 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 Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Just scoot in here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Just she sit. weighs 67 pounds. All right. Just sit, Nala. Okay. Perfect. All right. There she is. And everyone, uh, my mom posted yesterday a photo of, um, my brother and his girlfriend Bonnie and they're like oh my gosh Chelsea dyed her hair blonde no it's not me I'm not allowed to dye my hair <laughs> my mom said no <laughs> so that's Bonnie we look a little bit alike I think because of our glasses okay all right so I'm gonna recap uh the giveaways that we had for for last week okay so number one and number two because we had 10 number one and number two were the gift cards from needle case goodies and if you're a winner of these we just need your email address uh sent to us through our email address not your physical address because she will email you one okay number three were uh the three lori are you going to announce who won these as you do it oh i can do that sure okay all right now <laughs> i need you to get down so i can Breathe. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ella, for participating. Thank you. <laughs> that was a wonderful job. <laughs> Your floss too. Oh. <laughs> Excuse you. Excuse you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mind yes. your manners. That was, was under the table. All right. So, number one, the first winner of the twenty-five dollar needle case goodies on Etsy shop gift card yes. winner is. Carol Jacobson. So Carol, make sure you email us your email address so we can get that out to you. Congratulations. And our email is below. Yep. Click there and it's below. Down arrow, the real housewives of crossstitch at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Email us your email address. If you just email us, I'll have your email address because you're emailing me, but just, it's fine. Okay. Number two, <laughs> number two, the second, um, gift 
was a, another $25 gift card to Needle Case Goodies Shop on Etsy. And the winner for that is Amy Loves Toads. So congratulations. Please get a hold of us in the email box. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three was the three charts from B. Lori, right? Mm -hmm. B. Lori. Uh, vintage Christmas Sampler, Farm Girl Fall, and Happy Farm Girl. They were sent to us by the Fat Quarter Shop. Yep. The winner for these is Carla Kathy. So, Carla, congratulations. Send us your um, address so we can get these out to you. Now, these will not go out until next week. So, after Christmas. Um, we, yeah. We, I just I can't make it before then. She can. <laughs> we, we have so much to do. All right. Number four. Number four. Number four was, again, uh, Lori Holt. Holt designs vintage christmas sampler farm girl fall and um the happy farm girl plus the vintage fabric plus the box of floss to do the patterns in and the winner for number four is maddie's mom so maddie's mom congratulations get us your address i don't know if i've lost my mind yet because it's christmas or because we're doing this i'm not sure <laughs> not sure number five number five was a collection of lizzie kate's i feel like uh what is what is that vanna white i don't know no what's the where they guess the price is right uh number five so this was the um seasons? winter four seasons so you will receive all the seasons in the collection the like winner for this is Judy Atkinson. So congratulations, Judy. Get a hold of us so we can send these out to you. Woo, Judy! <laughs> Number six. Ooh, only four more. <laughs> At least you still have use of your hands after that episode with Calvin. I'm so sad. That was terrifying. So I was just scared that he was going to run that way and like Bonnie fall the baby. Bonnie trying to make friends with him. and It's not going well. He like pets, she pets him once and he... <laughs> Number six. So number six, Abby Rose sent us a bunch of designs to mm -hmm. give away for our 10,000 viewers. Um, and we were so excited to be able to offer these. Uh, you will receive blessings be upon this house. Uh, Mary be your Christmas. Beautiful. And mind your manners. Cash. No burping in the video. <laughs> All right, number six. Uh, the winner is Denise Baker. So Denise, uh, congratulations. Please get a hold of us through email. Number seven. Another collection of Abbey Rose designs. This was Mind Your Banners again. Mary Be Your Christmas. You will tide on Thistle Hill. Blessings be upon this house. Hometown Christmas. And uh, Farmhouse cr Christmas. So last week, again, I mentioned that you can slow us down or speed us up. Somebody said that she watched us on like uh, two <laughs> and we were hysterical. We sounded like chipmunks. <laughs> Number seven, the winner of all of these Abbey Rose designs goes to Carolyn T. So please get a hold of us, Carolyn. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Email us your address. We're on number eight, guys. Number eight. This is a Country Cottage Needlework series. This is um, all of the designs in the Welcome to the Forest. Mm -hmm. There's seven of them. So seven charts. Um, and this goes to, we're on number eight. Number eight is Donna Dorman. So Donna, congratulations. You have won the uh, Welcome to the Forest uh, whole series collection by Country Cottage Needlework. So congratulations there. Number nine. Number nine. We can do this. Cash, are you with us still? Are you with us? <laughs> Number <laughs> nine. <laughs> yeah. Number nine is a collection of Lizzie Kate. So if you were sent us all of these because she had duplicates, uh, they have the charms in them. So this is the yearbook series. Yes, the yearbook series. So One you for get every, or two for every month. Two for two for two months. Yeah. One for two months. <laughs> Just, uh, January, February, we'll just go through them so we understand. <laughs> March, April, June, July, or May, June, hello, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November, December. 
And it is early in the morning, so I assure you we have not drank or anything <laughs> yet. <laughs> not that we do anyways, but we are just losing our mind. Number nine. I am sorry if I mispronounce your name. Number nine, Connie Novacek. Right? N O V A C E. I can't read <laughs> Novacek, I think. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Connie, uh, get a hold of us so we can uh, mail these out to you. Number 10, the final giveaway for our 10,000 subscribers. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, is the Was sampler, the yeah. Sampler seasons. Sampler seasons snippet. Uh, so you've got summer, spring, winter, autumn. The winners for this is Carla Unraveled. So congratulations, Carla. If you can, please get a hold of us through the email. So again, if you go on to YouTube's, um, under our talking faces, there's a down arrow you'll see. And right there is where you can um, find the email. And there's also links to our Instagrams, our Facebook page, my Facebook page, and my blog. And if we have people that give us things or want you to see their shops, they're down there too. So there's lots of links down there. Yeah. And I've had a lot of questions on how to leave a comment. I'm so. going to show you right now. I'm loading it up. Uh, so if you're watching our video down here, if you keep scrolling, you're going to be able to leave the comments. But show them that there's other people's videos down there. Yes. Uh, oh, it's not on here. Hold on. You have if to I go can... past other people's these videos. videos. See, there's blocks of videos right mm -hmm. here and then you get um, to the comment section and then you get to the comments and it says add a public comment mm -hmm. right there okay and that's where you leave comments to enter you just in scroll the all the way down and then you can leave a comment okay so those are all our giveaways thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you for being a subscriber and hanging out with us every week mm -hmm. we appreciate it so much and all of your kind words all of your inspiration and just everything we appreciate it mm -hmm. there was a lot of comments this week Oh, Over 1,400. Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> That's what I did all week. Instead of stitching, I was reading comments this week. Okay, and then our giveaways for this week are the yeah. Teresa Kogut, the two winter designs, one punch needle, and one stitching. All right, so the winter, um, it's called... Which one is punch needle? For you. This one is the punch needle. Are you sure? Yeah. Punch needle embroidery pen. Okay. <laughs> and winter blessings. And that's stitching. Yeah, this is cross stitch. Uh, so again, in the comments, the question that you're going to ask. So there'll be two answer. winners. Yep. One for the punch needle, one for the stitching. Correct. Two winners, one question. It's going to be, what are your Christmas traditions? Because or give got... us just one Christmas tradition. You don't have to give us 40 of them. Yes, because we know you're all busy. What's your Christmas tradition? I don't have any. Slay buffet. I'm making that a thing. <laughs> Hashtag slay buffet. Christmas Eve, we're coming home from church and we're having a buffet, but it's called the sleigh buffet because <laughs> Santa rides in a sleigh and it's cute. And Halloween's was the buffet. Get it? Slay buffet. <laughs> I just come up with hashtags. I don't help cook anything. All right. So, and make sure in the comments that you put uh, whether you want the cross stitch or you want the punch needle or you want to be entered for both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we want to make sure that you're able to use this or you want to try a uh, punch needle. This would be a fairly easy one actually, because they're not, there's not a ton of small detail, which can be a little bit trickier mm -hmm. with the punch needle. I think this one would be a good yeah. one for a beginner right. as well. Um, and it's a winter design, so you can start it now and uh, carry it into January and keep it up. Okay? And we'll link her floss tube below, too. Yeah. Check her out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She's extremely talented. Okay. And also, if you've never watched Kathy, Kathy Haberman. Ha I can't see. I Haberman. Can't. Yeah. She's Kathy Haberman to me. <laughs> my, my, mom works with her and has pronounced her name wrong for the entire relationship that they've had. Although they've only met on Facebook for, prior to us meeting in, in Lamont, right? Mm -hmm. So at the Inspired Needle. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> anyway, so follow us on Instagram. The links are below. Priscilla, Priscilla Blaine, I can't even think of it. Chelsea three five. Right? Chelsea yes. 356. Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com where you can always see more of everything that we're doing and you can follow our insane life because mm -hmm. right now it's pretty insane. Mm -hmm. If you can see what was going on behind the camera, mm -hmm. it's insane. And I've got my brother right over here Snapchatting the entire family, <laughs> us doing this. So it's making me even more nervous. I'm sweating and I don't know if I have deodorant on and it's making me nervous. <laughs> 
All right. So if you get your inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. And we appreciate all of you that do tag us because we love seeing your things. And it's very nice to feel appreciated for the inspiration. Uh, this week, Cash ate sweet potatoes. So he had sweet potatoes and I have done uh, butternut squash. So his next food to try is butternut squash, but he loves the sweet potatoes. I mean, obviously they're sweet potatoes, but. But anyway, we hope you have a Merry Christmas. Woo! And we're going to try to finish up all the things we have to do before Christmas. And then we will be back next week. And like I said, Chelsea will be a year older because she turns 40 on Friday. Yeah, 42. <laughs> I'll be a year older than my mother. Uh, <laughs> <How's that? laughs> all right, guys. Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful time with your family, mm -hmm. that you stay sane through it all, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.